David Cassidy was the world's biggest teen idol. Well, last week, the Partridge Family star made headlines when he announced that he was battling dementia. But many wondered, was his battle with the bottle part of the reason for the diagnosis? Now, David is opening up to Dr. Phil, and Cameron Matheson has the details. We'll make you happy. He flatly denies that there was any alcohol involvement in that whatsoever, before or during the performance. David is blaming that disastrous performance outside of LA 10 days ago, where he was slurring his words and stumbling on stage on dementia. He tells Dr. Phil tomorrow the disease was diagnosed over two years ago. What was the first symptom that you noticed? When friends of yours or family members begin to say to you, remember I just told you this two days ago, and there is no memory of it. That's when I began to uh, be very concerned. Was that what caused you to say, I need to go get myself checked? Oh my God, yes. But Dr. Phil is somewhat skeptical about David's claims of sobriety that night. A lot of professionals I've talked to felt like that behavior was uh, more consistent with intoxication. Does that sort of amplify, in a sense, the uh, symptoms of dementia? It certainly does. If you introduce toxins of any sort to the brain when it is diseased, that's a bad combination. David's dementia was foreshadowed years earlier. Cassidy's mother, actress Evelyn Ward, died of Alzheimer's-related dementia in 2012 at the age of 89. What's your greatest fear for the future as you, take, as you continue on this path? Being in the place that my mother was the last two years of her life where I would completely disappear and I'd just be a burden to caretakers and couldn't walk, couldn't talk, couldn't sing, couldn't play. That's kind of my greatest fear, actually. Are you having trouble performing? No. As for David's assessment of his now infamous show? I asked him how he felt the concert went. He thought it went just terrific. 